Okay, so this thing is about to get pretty massive. <laughs> How many moons? It's still a fraction of the moon, though. So let's, uh, what if it's a mass of one moon? I think we just destroyed Mimus by expanding that big. But okay, we now have a worthy opponent. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. We've got a blank slate today. We're just going to be messing around with all sorts of experiments. So let's just jump right into stuff. We're going to add some things, and we're going to make some things look beautiful. We're going to place Kepler right in here. And then we're going to give this some rings. We're going to give nice Saturn rings right on here. Do I just add a ring? There you go. Kepler 62E. I am going to launch one of you through the rings. We'll just watch that go right through. And the rings actually like slowed it down for a second. That was really weird. Okay, I got to like get rid of that simulation. This was like maybe a couple years ago. Was it a couple years ago that they came out with this discovery? Uh, it was. It's never been like proven, like with the like a telescope. Like they actually have a picture of Planet Nine. It's just I, I believe it was mathematically proven based off the orbits of a bunch of the uh, dwarf planets, like such as uh, Pluto. Like Pluto is a dwarf planet technically, even though I want Pluto to be a planet again because of my childhood. What's another was Mimas? Is Mimas a planet? Uh, Ceres is a dwarf planet, I think. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's the best example, but what I'm getting at is that like all the orbits kind of start becoming perturbed or they're very uh, eccentric in this particular direction. There, there aren't any uh, dwarf planets in this direction, like orbits that way. But I guess however the math m works out, there has to be a reason why uh, everything is getting perturbed this way. Uh, there has to be like another uh, large planet that could possibly be pushing all of these small planets away uh, and that planet would be planet 9 because as you can see the orbit of planet 9 is a little bit eccentric over here is the uh, what is it the whatever the the, the furthest point is of, uh, on an orbit uh, it's it's eccentric in the complete opposite direction so the gravity won't be as strong out here but as it gets into its periapsis which would be the closest point in uh, the orbit uh, It'll be, a, it'll be a lot closer to the dwarf planets and start affecting all the different orbits. Earth, the Earth Federation Space Force. Because we're getting a Space Force, we should make the Space Force. That's what we should do. Can you even make a Space Force? Can we get ships? I know there's like human made objects. My objects, oh that's my objects. Okay, here we go, objects. Are there military things? I can't wait till they get a workshop. I think they're adding the Steam Workshop in this game. And when they add that, oh my god. So here, let's get the Cassini spacecraft in there. Let's just get that Space Force with all the, the space junk. Get a Tesla Roadster around here. The Arrival spacecraft, which is actually pretty tiny when you think about it. So I'm getting carried away going from one experiment to another. I said I wanted to make a Space Force, but my Space Force consists of satellites. Uh, so that's not very exciting. So we're going to go back to launching things. Um, I want to see what would happen if we just launched another Earth insanely fast. Uh, I don't want auto launch velocity. I want to have a set velocity. So only four kilometers per second. That's the fault. I want to fire an Earth at 1000 kilometers per second past this Earth. And I also want to, oh, I don't want to put DS in there. That's kind of weird. Okay. So 1000 kilometers per second. Let's try and keep a distance. Then go. Phew. What did that do? Oh, and I just lost it. <laughs> now we'll have to do that in slow motion. So let's place another Earth. You know, that way, like, the thing is, isn't, well, isn't spinning very fast. And we'll launch this again. I don't want auto launch velocity. Why'd you force me to do that? We're going to go 1,000 kilometers per second. And we're going to turn down that time step. 1,000 kilometers per second. Okay. Was there an effect? I don't think so. What about the moon? Maybe, maybe we should do the moon. The moon. That way it gets even closer. Whoosh. So fast. No. I want it to get even closer. No, even closer. Whoosh. Even closer. Whoosh. Even closer. Whoosh. Anything. See, it would be so cool. I mean, this would take a lot of processing power, I bet. It would be so cool if we got the moon so close where you can actually see some of the water on Earth rise up and maybe even touch the moon as it whizzes by. All right, don't touch the planet. Let's get a little closer away. 
Okay, don't touch. Don't touch. Let's make this go even slower. Okay. Don't touch. Okay, now I'm going to get impatient. Don't touch. It's not going to skirt the atmosphere yet. Okay, go a little bit faster. Don't touch. Oh, that almost touched the atmosphere. Okay, and... Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, almost, almost. Oh! <laughs> I got a jump scare in Universe Sandbox 2. <laughs> Oh, now that is the definition of clipping, which we also did in the last video. <laughs> clipping planets. All right. Well, that is an unfortunate event. That's the damage that would be done if just a hair. Okay, probably a little bit more than a hair. We'll say a hair. Very slight graze of the moon going at a thousand kilometers per second. That's what it would sound like. That boop. So we're gonna take a human sized object, a bowling ball, and we're gonna make this thing go so fast. 10,000 kilometers per second. What will that do? We're firing a bowling ball. This thing will not burn up in the atmosphere. Oh, maybe it will. Maybe it'll just vaporize. Uh, let's see. Okay, that didn't work out. Okay, all right, we're gonna go even faster. 100,000 kilometers per second. This is serious stuff. Nothing? That thing will actually burn in the atmosphere. I wanted to have a cool experiment. We're gonna fire right at America. Just so you can see some continental land mass get burned. All right, 12 seconds per second? Maybe even slower. We're just gonna go practically real time. Actually, this is slower than real time. Okay, did that do anything? Okay, what if we just like bombard the planets? Eventually it'll lose the atmosphere, right? If we just bombard the planet with bowling balls going at 100,000 kilometers per second. Okay, what about something bigger? Something that'll definitely not burn up in the atmosphere. The police box probably will. Tesla Roadster, can we destroy the planet? Like what would happen if the Tesla Roadster collided with the earth? God, that would have been amazing. Or, or, okay. Uh, let's not go one, let's not go 100,000 kilometers per second. Let's just go, let's just stick, let's stick with 1,000. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Right, you're just going to coast on through here. So let's slow this down because we are really going into the planet. The mass is 1,300 kilograms. What if we just added a zero to that? <sighs> what if we added another zero to that? <sighs> and what if we added another zero to that? Yes. Yes. Another zero. Okay, so this thing is about to get pretty massive. <laughs> How many moons? It's still a fraction of the moon, though. So let's, uh, what if it's a mass of one moon? I think we just destroyed Mimus by expanding that big. But okay, we now have a worthy opponent. <laughs> we have expanded Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster. And what would happen if suddenly the aliens use their Wombo Ray to make the car bigger and much more massive. Let's see. I have a feeling the animations are not gonna work out for this, but I wanna focus on the earth. Uh, I wish we had better lighting for this. Can we get better lighting? Okay, where's the better lighting? Here we go. There we go, I guess that's probably the best lighting we'll get. <laughs> wow, that actually is pretty sizable for something that's moon mass. Oh! Oh, it's actually just like skirting through there. I knew the animation would mess up. It's actually just kind of skirting on through. Oh! What? The Tesla Roadster wins! I didn't expect that. How did that happen? Why? Why? Unless like that's just the game that glitched because it says it's the mass of 1.01 Earths. For some reason, the model of the Tesla Roadster overtook the model of the Earth. I would expect this to disappear, but yeah. If that's what happens when the Wombo Ray gets used, I guess the Tesla wins. You only need a moon-sized one. Back to the experiment, my intended experiment. I wanted to get something really tiny, really fast, destroying the entire planet. Just to prove F equals MA. No, this is, this is momentum. P equals MV. 
And notice it's multiplication. P is momentum. Mass times velocity. When you're dealing with a multiplication formula, you can have a big mass and a tiny velocity, or you can have a tiny mass and a large velocity and still get a large momentum value. Or maybe we just don't have an atmosphere. Let's just delete Earth's atmosphere. Watch all of the water boil off the planet when I do that. Is it gonna boil? I mean, there is no sun. Actually, uh, actually, yeah, the water is receding, as Morgan Freeman would say, I think. It should if you lose all of your atmosphere because that's really like, because then the, uh, the boiling point of water becomes much lower, I think. Uh, it's really the atmospheric pressure that kind of like, it's almost like it, Look at it like the atmospheric pressure like that like holds the the water gas from like becoming a gas. So it takes like a higher temperature in order for water to uh, to boil. That's why uh, you go up to a higher altitude, you can actually boil at a lower boiling temperature because the atmosphere is a little bit thinner. So no atmosphere to interfere with a very, very tiny object, a little teapot. Let's destroy the earth with a little teapot we're going to launch this at something ridiculous, uh, 10,000 kilometers per second, or maybe 100,000. I don't know what that was. Okay. This tea. Oh, God, I just lost the teapot. Where's the teapot? Focus on the teapot. We're going to have to go insanely slow for this because this thing is moving. It is 500 grams. But remember, little mass, big V. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay. All right, P equals MV. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What happened? I didn't destroy the planet. Wow, I must have needed a bigger V. So I was gonna go 10 times as fast. No! That little dinky thing? We're going at three times light speed. Okay, well fine, we're gonna go 13 times light speed. Or no, 31 times light speed. Boom. That's, that's disappointing. How about a pool ball? Pyramids. Did you do anything? We're in the milliseconds. You're going to create a big crater? Okay. The pyramids crashing into Earth at that a ridiculous speed will do it. But not something like a bowling ball. So the, the Great Pyramids of Giza. So you can think about how big that is. So boom. I don't know why I did it right there when I clicked right there. These explosions are not in the correct spot. We're just going to light up the planet. The arrival aliens can't even, they don't even know how to steer. They're just like, all right, we're arriving. Boom. <laughs> they forgot to warp. Actually, that's like, you can get like on some battle cruises. We can recreate uh, what happened in The Last Jedi. So the entire planet has explosions going on everywhere. It's like all the nukes are going off. I want to see what's going to happen here if all of these things are crashing. And I want to watch all of those explosions just like spread. Let's speed this up. Earth is not going to be in a good state right now. There they all go. <laughs> Actually, I feel like not all of them are there. But there we go. If all the nukes get set off, that's what it looks like. And it, there's all the shock waves going around. And then you're left with that. And for some reason, this whole place over here was just untouched. That must be uh the mid-Atlantic rift or something. Wouldn't that be fun if you could just slice this thing in half and you can actually have like a semi-sphere rather than just the, the sphere getting smaller? Developers, let me cut a planet in half. Give me a giant knife. That's what I want. Give me a giant knife in the game and I just want to slice this thing like it's a cake. <laughs> it's probably too late in development for that, but God, that'd be funny. We're dealing with uh, high-speed velocities here. Uh, we're going to go back into the human objects. And we're going to deal with the pool balls. Uh, so I'm going to pause this and we're just going to place everything completely still. Uh, I can't remember how exactly you're supposed to arrange pool balls. I just know the eight ball is supposed to be somewhere in the middle. So I'll put like a, like a two right here. Or, no, I totally got that wrong. Just one, two, three. And then what I'm at now, I'm at seven, eight, nine. Whatever. Okay, we're going to have seven there. We'll have nine here. Okay. So we got pool balls. Where's the cue ball? There's the cue ball. All right. <laughs> I want to save the simulation. We can use this for later. We're going to launch this thing insanely fast. Uh, we don't have to go that fast, though. That's the thing. Meters per second uh, is probably that'll probably do it.
because this because just the scale we're talking here let's go at like 100 meters per second i think that's probably pretty fast for a pool ball uh and we'll slow down that time step we don't want to go in the hours per second let's just let's just go 35 no not 35 seconds per second let's go real time what if we just do real time okay fire that's real time or unless that or unless that's like really far away i did 100 meters per second yep yeah, oh well, i have to pop okay all right let's just let's just do auto let's just let's just see what that looks like velocity go boom okay and go they're all just up <laughs> now that's a big pool ball <laughs> like the mass i can't tell if venus is getting bigger or what but they're not just fully absorbing they're going to earn this for the long haul. <laughs> uh, maybe speed that up a little bit. Who's going to ultimately win this fight?